Some actors slow down during the pandemic, but not Davine Joy Randolph. She was one of the busiest actresses around with a slew of great projects, including Murders in the Building and most recently, The Last OG. Take a look. I found out we was going to lose the vote, so I bribed one of the commissioners. And I'm guessing you didn't take out a bank loan. No. But the guy that gave me the money I thought was legit, and that's word is bond. We wouldn't be here if the man was legit. And Davine Joy Randolph is here with me now. Hi, Davine. Hi. If we were, I mean, we have like a hundred different things of yours that we could talk about, but I say, let's start with The Last OG. You play VC. So what do you want everybody to know about her and The Last OG? And for anybody who doesn't watch, you need to be watching the show because it's such a good, it's a great time. Thank you. Yeah, uh, basically what was really cool was uh, Tracy had came to me and my team and uh, at this time he had just finished doing Coming to America 2 with Eddie Murphy. And so they had reached out to my team. And uh, to him, this is based off of someone within his community yeah. um, and that he remembers who was kind of like that neighborhood auntie uh, who just, she didn't have children of her own, but she made the community and her block, her neighborhood. But we were just careful that we showed their love, the, what made them close was their love and passion for the community. Okay, Hulu's only murders in the building. I know that people want to see more from your character for season yeah. two. It's everything everyone wants. That's all I can say. We're starting off with a bang, jumping right in. It picks up literally from where it left off. Um, I don't want to give anything away, but it is going to be delicious and yummy. And the guest stars that we're getting. Can you tell us this world. Can, can I can't tell you. I can't. I can't. Oh I, can't. I can't. Mm -mm. Okay, it's, what so can, good. it's so what, exciting. What can you tell us about the lost city? I'm not kidding. If I pull, if I shared my screen and pulled up my email yesterday, I wrote to my boss. I wrote the lost city. Have you heard anything? When are we doing interviews? What like the trailer yeah. just came out, and we're freaking out over the trailer. Yeah, it was. I have to say, like, I don't know if it's because of COVID, but I was really excited. It just, it was all the feel goods, you know, that I was like, oh, we haven't seen this kind of like action rom com in a while. And I think what is going to be so exciting is that we need this, you know? It's going to be great because it comes out like early spring, it's late March, um, but it feels like one of those like summer blockbusters. Um, it's, it's checking off all the boxes. So I saw the trailer for this first time yesterday and I just got so excited that I was like, Ooh, this, this could it be like, March? Could it be March? Like, please. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh my God. And then I also, I want to ask you about on the come up too. Like I, I just keep yeah. seeing your name pop up more and more. I mean, the director that cat, like, Oh my yeah. gosh. It was funny because I was uh, I portrayed Mahalia Jackson, so I'm like all like in the zone of this like Southern Baptist woman, and we're in between takes, and I get a call from my team that they're like, um, "There's this role that came available. Uh, you have to be ready to fly in two days to go do it in Atlanta." I said, "Okay, what is it about?" And they were like, "You're playing a butch thug who's a drug dealer but has a heart of gold." And I was like, I looked at what I was wearing and I thought about it and I was like, yes, that sounds amazing. Cause I love to switch it up and like, just, you know what I mean? Go from one pendulum to the next. Davine, normally I have to end these interviews and tease your project. So I'm, I'm just going to tell everybody they could catch you in the last OG Tuesdays on TBS. But look out 2022, wherever you look, you will see this fabulous human being. You are, you. Your, your mother named you right. You, you're an absolute joy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.